next guest is, uh, is uh, Laurent from uh, Mimbes Technologies from Toulouse, France. Uh, Laurent is the uh, owner and founder of the, uh, of the company who's producing this sawmill simulator that you see in, uh, in the Duluth room, number 80. Um, so Laurent will uh, quickly tell you about this uh, really interesting concept uh, that, uh, that he has developed for uh, the lumber industry. Uh, which is actually a spillover from the welding industry and, and the automotive industry. So uh, the technology is here, it's working, it's coming, and uh, yeah, I think it's fascinating. So here's Laurent. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, yeah, as Wes was saying, this, uh, this uh, technology is the core of our company in France. We started with welding 12, 15 years ago, I would say. Um, discovering that there's a way to transfer the expertise we have in flight simulator and things like that, because we are more expert in 3D gaming simulator and things like that, to, uh, to train people on manual skills uh, with high expertise like welding, where, where the hands-on is essential. We are now able to provide technology, virtual technology, to speed up the initial learning of that kind of skill. And this idea started 12 years ago with welding because it's a huge demand uh, in that area. It came to spray painting, to other industrial application, and more recently to wood industry, where we started our wooded product line. And uh, wooded factory is uh, one tool to train some wheel operator. Then we have wooded table for cabinet maker, and also wooded construction for, uh, to build up wooden house. Um, so, um, the, the idea uh, when we addressed that came not, that is, doesn't come from us because we're just the end, we need the, the head to think about that. And the, the, the idea came from a uh, um, training association in France this, that noticed the same thing as everywhere. The training center are not, uh, don't have enough money to, to, to run a real sawmill, so it's very tough for them to train operators. So, but they still need to survive, they still need to provide the service they used to. Uh, so they wanted to build up something virtual that looked like reality and that helps people to understand the skill, the high skill of uh, an operator driving an industrial sawmill. Uh, so so that, that was the initial need. They came to us and say, we need something realistic enough. And the thing we discovered while we were investigating this skill is that m there's two things. Either you're talking about head rigs, where you have manual things to do, and then it's a matter of hand, feet, eyes, coordination. Mm -hmm. So it's motor skill, and you need to practice as much as possible, so you will not think this red button is to low down that thing, but you just, it's just automatic for you, like a robot. So that, that's one thing. And the other thing is when you're driving a counter line, something more automatic, it's more a matter of concentration. You just staying here with a lot of screen, a lot of button, and if something went wrong, you have to react as quick as possible and you know, turn back the productivity uh, as quick as possible as this normal uh, situation. So we, we created two different simulators inside the things you have uh, here, head rig simulator and uh, counter line uh, simulation. Uh, it's, it's a very simple uh, workbench, you've seen probably some of them, some of you already tried it. Uh, it's, it's just a workbench with a screen, two touch screen on each side, joystick and four pedals. Uh, it tried to replicate the real workstation, but in a generic way. So the aim is not, because it's for training, so it's not to, the aim is not to replicate the existing real sawmill, but just to train a generic operator that will be able to apply in any sawmill. Uh, and for that, we are going through a progressive learning approach. So the initial exercise will be very simple. We'll just have to move forward and backward to carrier, very basic. Then it will go deeper and deeper with more complex wood, with more complex exercise to do, with control on your productivity, your efficiency, and so on. And that is stored uh, and, um, in a, what we call a learning management system. So that we, you can track individually each people. Uh, and one important thing in this uh, simulator is um, that you are able to adapt all the control, all the vision. So this is to 
meant to be generated. But if you want something that will look like what you have in a sawmill, in a new sawmill, we can do that based on the existing platform we have. So this is quite open technology because we're driving everything. We are able to, to design the 3D world you want. You don't have to, we don't have to build the world, we're just creating it in a 3D world. So today we have Edrig's uh, encounter line. You can select the position of the operator in the Edrig's also because there's different way of driving the, the Edrig. We have this full adaptive curriculum, so uh, you can drive an operator and you select what he will do. Here, if you go on the machine, I will show you all the different exercises and you can practice whatever exercise you want. But the interest for you is to, well, at least for a training center, is to uh, be able to evaluate a newcomer and drive him to the perfect operator he should be. That thing is essential. We have that tracking system. Um, that's that's things essential to know if the guy performs well. So you can evaluate someone, you can ev evaluate 40 people in a day, thanks to that, but you can follow them up over the time. So if you decided to train this guy, thanks to this learning management system, you are able to follow his progress, identify his mistake, where he has a problem in concentration, in uh, hand skill, and so on. Everything is detailed. So that, that, that brings a lot of uh, saving in terms of time and cost. So I have a short demonstration here for you of the system. What are the things you have uh, here? Not so much. That's what we used to do when we created our simulator. We're coming, we're coming to the real place, analyzing the existing situation, and then we're creating that, that kind of virtual application. So that's indeed what they used to do uh, in France uh, today. They used to bring the machine inside the sawmill uh, to uh, evaluate, train the operator, sometimes uh, hire a new operator. So they can do that on site because the machine is easy to carry. This is a counter line. You can see below there's a visual guide. There's a lot of information for the operator initially to understand what he has to do. And then we remove that visual guides. Okay, and the last point is really to remember you that what you see is just a generic version of what we have, and we used to develop specific version for specific sawmill because in that area, it's very specific to what we have in the other product. It's not the case, but here, the cost of the production, the cost of the equipment, the cost of the damage you will have if you train someone on the real equipment is so high that the cost of the customization for you of this existing equipment is, is nothing and brings a lot of added value in terms of productivity and efficiency, even of your existing uh, skilled operator. Uh, that's it for the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Laurent can adapt the, uh, the machine, so even, even the, the same joystick controls that you have on your existing machinery could be adapted 
Um, so there, there's kind of a generic machine out of the box, or it could be completely adapted to your existing equipment. Um, yeah, one avenue, and then the other thing is a, a training school, of course. <laughs> okay. And I'm not sure if it's to you or Lauren or, or Wes or both. So who do you think the target market is? Is it OEMs to be able to train, you know, sell a line or sell equipment and train? Would it be training schools or private companies yep. or all? Well, I, can, well, I can answer. Because usually our target is training school, vocational training school. Here it's, uh, it's, an, it's something, it has been created so uh, to help the training school to survive because and it's the case in most of the places I talk with the people from Duchesne here, and it's the same. It's really tough to train. You need to have the real equipment. So having this kind of equipment helps to fill the bridge between training and reality. But then, as I said, it's, it's specific to sawmill uh, operator. The cost of a skilled uh, operator is so, well, the skill is so high that it's, it's also very useful for um, a sawmill manufacturer, driver, a sawmill owner, to have his own training equipment on site. And then it can be also an OEM demand. So we have some uh, co contact right now uh, with manufacturer because it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of user manual. Trainer. So yeah, it's kind of user manual. It's just an interactive user manual, very interactive, <laughs> very much interactive. But they, it's often very tough, complex um, working uh, place. Uh, and having a virtual simulator deliver with, together with the equipment brings a, a, ga um, well, a great added, added value for them. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? No, thanks. All thanks. Right.